An asteroid the size of an aircraft carrier is set to pass in between Earth and the moon. The space rock, if it stays on course, is set to pass a mere 201,700 miles from the Big Blue. CBN has the details. A massive asteroid will fly by Earth on November 8th, just a few months from now. Experts say this is the closest Earth approach an asteroid this size has made since 1976. The asteroid is 1,300 feet in diameter. It will be too close to the sun to be observed at first, but scientists are saying that it could be visible by later in the day. And while scientists have dubbed the asteroid, quote, potentially hazardous, they say there's no need to fear Armageddon just yet. The Times of India agrees, but it couldn't help but analyze what would happen if the asteroid did wander off course. If it were to hit the Earth, the asteroid named YU-55 would have an impact equivalent to 65,000 atom bombs and would leave a crater more than six miles wide and 2,000 feet deep, say the experts. Space.com quotes a NASA scientist who classified the asteroid as a Type C, which are thought to be representative of the primordial materials from which our solar system was formed. This flyby will be an excellent opportunity to test how we study, document, and quantify which asteroids would be most appropriate for a future human mission. And while Earthlings appear to be safe for now, the Daily Mail reports future generations may not be as lucky. It orbits the sun once every 14 years, but will not collide with Earth for at least a century. And makers of the documentary, Near Earth Objects and Planetary Defense, attempt to answer the troubling what-if question future generations and scientists may be forced to deal with. We have uh, kinetic impact where we've actually actually struck a comet before. We know we can do that. So from the engineering perspective, I'm confident we can make that happen again. There are circumstances where if it's a small object that we would want to design perhaps a number of kinetic impactors that would actually strike on a, you know, on a frequent basis to actually provide enough impulse to move it away. Um, and that would be, I think, an attractive technique. For Newsy.com, I'm Allison Archer. Multiple sources, the real story.